Hey everybody, um, wanted to post a quick update. I was trying to get to test and tune on Friday night, um, but something came up at work. I had to work late, so I couldn't make it. So anyway, the next test and tune is not until for three weeks. So uh, I'm going to try to get it out to the Wednesday night uh, streetcar night. Uh, the track won't be prepped very well, but they do require you to run mufflers. So I pulled the uh, straight exhaust off. I do have... Uh, I do have my uh, X Python mufflers back on there. Um, I did install a new um, cam lock, SFI approved um, harness. They called me out on that the last time I was at the track. They never have before. My other ones uh, didn't have a didn't have a SFI rating on them, so. They would only let me run um, 1150s, which, you know, we we managed to do that anyway, but nonetheless, um, got that covered. So I always like to have my Stacy stuff uh, anytime they call me out on tech and try to have that squared away before I go back. But otherwise, um, cleaned up a little wiring over here. Um, as far as we did a little more weight reduction, we got rid of the um, vapor canister and the um took it took out the fog light and the, there's a big metal bracket under there so um those two things together were um 12 pounds and that's off the very front of the car other than that uh, we did a little bit of weight reduction we did do our first oil change in the car and um i cut the filter open and it, everything looked good we went back in with um with 10 30 um, six and a half quarts and we also changed out the put a fresh set of plugs in um, these are the ones that came out the Autolite 3924s so I put a fresh set of 3924s in um, I gapped them at 45 so that should be good there so uh, tomorrow you know try to get home um, on time for work and to get the car loaded up and go out and make a few hits on the streetcar night and we'll see how that goes and then I was going to modify these, uh, you see these little band clamps were leaking a little bit anyway, so, but I want to shorten these up a little bit and then maybe, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just going to slash cut these instead of have the turn downs because the one, uh, the passenger side does come close to, um, my fuel lines are like right here. So, I mean, I can angle it out of the way because it's a ball socket, but I may just, um, I can trim it up a little bit here and then maybe um, slash cut the back here so it's nowhere near the um, the exhaust, uh, not exhaust, excuse me, the fuel lines coming up the, coming up to the front. So anyway, pulled these off, that was no big deal, that's only four bolts and put the, put the other exhaust on, harness, did our first oil change and swapped out the plugs so that will be it I was thinking of pulling the fender liners out I still have fender liners in here maybe I'll do that tonight I'll pull one out and see what they weigh see if it's worth uh, taking them out take leaving them out I mean I don't really street drive the car so shouldn't be a big deal I mean if they're if they're five pounds each or whatever that's another 10 pounds off the front of the car so other than that we've just we made some suspension adjustments um, as far as the ride height, I brought the ride height back up a little bit. And right here with the ruler, we got the plumb bobs out and everything and kind of measured our anti-squat and what have you. And kind of plotted the rear end, plugged it into the baseline uh, outlaw instant center um, calculator. And we've got a fair amount of anti-squat, but I also realized on the back here, one of my shocks, uh, the adjustment turn on the strange was broken. The knob, I know you can't see it, it's dark under here, but the knob right here was broken. So I had to take it apart and you can order the knob from strange. They require a $20 minimum order. Uh, the, the little knob part is $6. And of course they were out of stock. I was going to get the I was going to get the little knob part and, um, and a t-shirt or something to make the $20 minimum. 
but they were out. So um, I physically unbolted it and it basically just threads in and pushes against a valve inside the shock once I took it apart and saw how it worked. So I was able to make it work. I put it on all the way tight. It was all the way loose before. So what I realized was I was on, um, I was on like six or seven clicks on this side and then I was full loose on that side the last time we went to the track. So it upset the rear end. I had the front end too low. So I kind of put everything back to where it was, except for I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to run these shocks full tight, um, which will slow the back end down. So hopefully it'll keep it from uh, hitting the tires too hard and stick the tires. I was on I was on six before, so we'll see. I can always go back, but I'm going to pull them on full tight because that one is this one here is kind of tricky to adjust with that broken knob. So. Until I can get a replacement one from Strange, um, I just put that one on full tight to see where we're at. And after I me measured my anti squat, it's pretty high, so um, I kind of want to. I don't want the thing to push down too quickly with that much um, anti squat in the back of the car. But I can make a bar adjustment in the back on the upper and bring it down to the middle. That'll loosen that up, and then I could run a, a shorter or a, maybe a, a looser shock in the back. But we'll try it this way and see how it goes. Again, I don't have a lot of, uh, I know the streetcar night prep is not that great, but we'll give it a shot. So anyway, that's the Wednesday night uh, streetcar nights is our next one. And then we'll have test and tune um, from this Friday, uh, two weeks after that. So that will be a full, you know, like a prepped uh, track. So anyway, we're gonna give it a, we're gonna give a street, uh, the streetcar night a shot. All right, guys, that's the update for this week. Thanks.